Right. So it's been asked of me a couple times to make a UV tile discard uh, video. Um, essentially, what UV tile discards will let you do in this situation is uh, not render certain verts um, or vertices, triangles. Um, it, you can read more about it in Poyomi's documentation under the UV tile discard under special effects. This is something I'll link in the description if you're curious about what it actually does. What, the, what it actually does is completely out of scope of the video. Um, I'm just showing you how to use it and how to make use of the functionality. So to kind of get started here, um, I have my mesh here. It is very, very much joined um, and it's all practically one material. So obviously it means that I can't traditionally toggle anything unless I use blend shapes. Please don't use blend shapes to toggle things. There are hardly any circumstances where blend shape toggles are going to be more effective than UV tile discards. Um, I'm sure there are some out there, but it, it, for understanding and for, for sake of this video, um, I really don't think there are very many. So with that being said, um, we basically need to set up our UVs specifically such that each item that I want to toggle is on a separate UV tile. Now to explain what that means, I'm just going to drag this window over and go to the UV editor. From here, I can select my mesh, go into edit mode, and I can go ahead and select my outfit, which is you know, pretty much all of this here. Let me select the right UV. So now you can see this. I can't forget to select my socks as well. So this is all one material. This is all one mesh. There's quite a lot going on here, but I, I want to be able to toggle, say, my hip pouch or my gloves or the shoulder pouch, the jacket, etc. Traditionally, like I said, you can do that with blunt shape toggles uh, to get around the performance limiter. Uh, I know a lot of people use that to get around the performance limiter, um, but it's kind of counterintuitive because that's actually worse for performance in a lot of cases. Um, so just with that out of the way, we're going to be using UV tile discards for that. So I'm going to go ahead and select my outfit here so I can see it in the uh, UV view. And I'm going to go to the uh, object data properties tab, and I'm going to go to UV maps, and I'm going to add a UV. I'm going to call it UV tile discard. For you, you're probably only going to have one UV here. I have multiple because I do other fancy shader stuff on the other UVs. So for, for sake of example, um, I can add a new UV here and select the verts that I intend to toggle. So I can just select all of this so I can see yet again. Um, and I'm going to kind of move from here. So essentially what UV tiles are, are well, UV tiles. I have a set of uh, UVs in UV0, 0. So U is going to be your horizontal, V is your vertical. So this is in U, 0, V, 0. And in the shader, if I go into the shader under special effects, you can see UV tile discard. And you can see that you have the vertical uh, columns or rows here labeled. You don't have the horizontal columns labeled here, but that's all right. It's pretty self-explanatory. So this tile here is zero, zero, which means it is right here in the UV tile. So we have a total of 16 possible that Poyomi shader lets you use. So we're going to go ahead and replicate that within the UV editor in Blender. So we can go to the top right where the two circles are. We can hit the drop down and where it says tiles X and tiles Y, we can just select both of those and hit four. So that way we can see what we're doing a lot better. So now what we want to do is we want to move each item individually into their own UV tile. Like I said, you can have up to 16 different toggles here. So what I'm going to do is select my hip pouch in, in its entirety. Now what I do here is I select one vert or just hover over it and I hit L to select linked verts. And I can do that just for all of these edges inverts here. So let me do that really quickly. And now I have all these selected. Now, if you're combining meshes like this to make your life a hell of a lot easier, what I recommend doing is going into your object data properties again, going to vertex groups, adding a vertex group, call it for me, I'm going to call it hip pouch. I already have it up here. So I'm adding an extra H. Um, and then you could just hit assign. Now, from now on, 
when you go into edit mode, you can scroll down under your vertex groups all the way to wherever you put this and hit select. And now you have your hip pouch or whatever you have selected. This is going to make your life a lot easier. If you redistribute your models, I totally recommend doing this and then informing people that you're doing this because if they want to remove an item, they don't have to go in and search, you know, click every vert. I know a lot of beginners don't know about linked vert selection. So people are going to be angry having to select all these verts in that. So definitely let them know and do that to make their lives easier. I know I will be on this model. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and select the hip pouch vertex group that I have, and I'm going to go to my UV editor and you can see that this is still in UV tile zero zero. So what I want to be able to do is toggle it individually from the rest of my mesh. And to do that, say, I want to put it in V zero U one, which is this box here. It follows that on here, I can move it over one to get it in this tile. However, it's kind of inaccurate and I feel like I'll probably mess up. So I can hit G to move X to lock it on the X axis and I can hit one to move it over exactly one UV tile to the right. Now we can toggle the, all of the verts that are affected, all the verts that are covered by this UV tile in here, just by animating this toggle here. So we can kind of do that for every single uh, mesh here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the knee pad in its entirety. Go back to the UV view, hit G, X, and 2 to move it over to the second tile right here. And I'm going to do the same with my gloves. Now the cool thing about UV tile discards is I can have up to 16 toggles and uh, I, I wouldn't be able to do that very performance uh, performantly. Um, it with any other method. So I can actually, I have the, the budget to toggle each of my gloves independently, which is quite cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I want to move this over to the third tile. So I want to hit G, X, and three. To, so now I have each of these objects in their own UVs, UV islands here, or UV tiles in here. So now I want to do the other glove and I can't go any farther over here because now I'm outside of the range of the UV tiles that Poyomi allows. So I need to go up one. So to do that, I hit G, Y, and one to go up one. So now I have these, this uh, right glove in this toggle here. So I want to do the shoulder pouch now. So I can select all the linked verts with the shoulder pouch. And like we said, I can't move it up one and I can't move it over any of these. So I have to move it diagonally. So I do G Y one G X one to put it in this UV tile right here. And I can kind of just continue that for all 16 spots here that I can toggle. And then just to toggle it in unity, all I have to do is animate each one of these toggles individually and it's all fine. So if I wanted to show you exactly what's going on here, I can go ahead and untoggle all of this. Editor cam here, um, totally forgot. When you are toggling your items using this UV tile workflow, uh, make sure you are selecting the proper UV. Uh, we created a second UV and uh, to make sure you're selecting, uh, make sure you're selecting that one here. I've already set up a UDIM discard or rather UV tile discard for all of my objects earlier and to give you perspective this model is good performance um, however i do have 10 total total toggles on this mesh i have my ears and tail along with all of these other items so to make this possible we've used this this method here so you can see to make the meshes invisible all i do is go down to the uv tile discard and toggle each of these check boxes and you can see things are disappearing and it looks great